In this video, we'll go through the process of turning my disorganized hobby room into my very own craft art studio. We're going to go from this dated baby blue room to a nice, elegant crafting space, and we're going to start right now. So while my daughter and wife are on a trip to New York, I wanted to take the time to completely redo this room and take advantage of the empty house to move stuff around. Over the years, I've accumulated a bunch of stuff. So the plan for this room is to remove the workbench and everything out of the room, patch the holes and spots left over the years, repaint the baby blue to a warm gray color, purchase and assemble IKEA Billy bookcases, find something for storing the printers and substrates, and build a large craft table for storage. I meant, I meant to record this before I got started, but I'm already starting to clean out my shop so I can redo it. That's my pegboard on the back. All that stuff's already gone. There's some other heat presses. All the other stuff's kind of over here. We're just going to overall, we're just going to neaten this, repaint it, and make it actually like a craft room. Um, but yeah, you can see just how big of a mess it is. All my tumblers, all my t-shirts. We kind of have stuff everywhere. Um, 3D printer and stuff. Overall, it's just a hot mess. Trying to get everything organized. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull everything out and get the room cleaned up so we can paint. All right, guys. And this is after uh, day two of filling holes and everything. Getting it looking way better. Hey, look, that looks significantly better. All right, guys. Thanks to my helper biscuit here. We got the first coat down, waiting on it to dry. Overall, that's the color we're going for. It's like a, it's a, I forget the name of the gray, but yeah, that's it. All right, guys, after the first little bit of paint dry, we got about half the room done, a little bit, well, actually about two thirds of the room. Um, this is what we end up with. Overall, I really like this color. It's really great. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of this done. This is what I got left. You can see, like I stopped right up here last night. I got a little tired. All right, guys and girls, with our help of Luna Bear, we are officially painted, 100%. I left those screws over there for uh, for my thing I had. It's going back on the wall. But yeah, just kind of get. I kind of got this little area kind of organized. Uh, but all of this stuff is still a hot mess. Like there's still so much crap. Now guys, um, before I even touch anything, I'm going to just plan it out. Um, I've drawn the room up where the door's at, where the window's at, and all that good stuff. We don't want to really block the window because I know my puppy dogs like to look out the window. So I'm putting my PC desk on the same wall it's at now. My networking cabinet's going to move over here with all my with my 3D printer up top. My networking stuff like my, NAT, my NAS, my network storage. Uh, we're going to put our, printer, our Epson printer and our storage over here. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a little Ikea table and probably do those, some of the little cube uh, organizers to hold like uh, old tumblers and all that good stuff. I'm, I'm going to go get two Billy bookcases from Ikea, put them side by side, or put them uh, on either sides of the, the heat, whatever I put my heat press on. And right now I'm leaning toward just reusing my, uh, my wooden workbench um, for now anyway. Just so I don't, just to minimize the, uh, what I'm out of pocket right now. And, and that they'll sit nicely on either side of that. And my heat press will sit on that. And I'll also have my other, uh, equipment down here. All my other like hat presses, tumbler presses, all that below that. So that'll be a nice storage for all that. And this, uh, this craft table is going to be used IKEA Calyx units. Um, and it's going to go together pretty well too. So you'll, you'll see that. Um, but overall this, this is the plan. I'm doing that because the, that way, on this it'll, this will be on casters. So if I need it out of the way, I, in theory, I have like a, probably like a six foot by eight foot piece, actually almost ninety inches by ninety inches of usable floor space. If I if I move this out of the way, that way, if my kid wants to play VR or anything in the room or any of that stuff. But overall, this is the plan. Um, having this on casters will be have a lot of flexibility to the room. Everything else will be static, but uh. That should work. As part of something that I wanted, now we're sitting here assembling IKEA Billy bookcases. Biscuit supervising. Luna was being bad, so she got put up. 
All right, guys, we got the first Billy bookcase in place. It is huge. I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Look how big that thing is. What do you think, Biscuit? Huge. Well, guys, it's uh, it's coming together. We'll do a quick 360 around the room. And you can see, I'll go ahead and change cameras. You can now see that I have one of the Billy bookcases together. Um, it's coming together. I still got a lot to, lot to do. I purchased those nice little plants from Ikea. Pretty cool stuff. The Billy bookcases are pretty easy to go together, but they are they are very heavy for what they are. Uh, I'm going to reuse my workbench temporarily. I'll put something nice. This will be my printer area for right now. It's going to be substrates and printers. Still got to get it somewhat organized. Um, I don't know where to put the toolbox. I have no idea. And then my computer setup, which I got to clean all this mess up. Um, and this is like my, my, my switch, my NAS, all that good stuff, my 3D printer. Um, I need to do some decorating and get some art going, but, uh, but overall, this is what we got so far. A few videos back, I posted a video about how I built my IKEA Calyx base craft table. The full video explaining it will be included in the description below. It's basically two Calyx units that I found locally assembled into one unit with a custom top made out of stained 1x6s. The whole thing's on casters and overall it makes a great sturdy craft table with tons of storage. All right, guys, so this is the completed room. Uh, we'll pan around a little bit, and you can see everything. We'll start off with the uh, some of the places where I keep some of my extra stuff. Uh, my vinyl rack, that came from Hobby Lobby. Nothing special there. We'll go ahead and zoom in. Uh, this is where I keep my printers, my Epson uh, Workforce 7720, my little HP paper printer. I have some cutting mats and sublimation paper down there. I'm going to fix that soon. Um, we have our shelves here for just extra stuff, including my 3D printed ink tray. Check this out. Custom design, custom made. I'll have those in my shop eventually. Uh, this is where I keep like my t-shirts, all that good stuff. Uh, this is the Ikea uh, Billy bookcases on the right. Bunch of gaming stuff, some custom stuff I made. Uh, some of the stuff I 3D printed, like my baby Groot, like my uh, Southpaw Studios thing, my hat, my Deadpool uh, headphone holder, and just some random stuff, RC stuff up there. Uh, my main my main bench right here that has my uh, hat press, my my tumbler press, also my heat press. Got to have butcher paper. Got to have parchment paper, a measuring tape to measure everything, uh, sublimation tape. All kind of good stuff over there. We'll take you to the other side. Take us around to the other side. And this is the other Billy bookcase. I hadn't really found, I'm, I'm actually gonna get rid of that probably. Uh, some RC stuff, uh, some trophies, an Ikea plant, and just an RC car body that I painted. Over here, my pop-up green screen. And then we have this, which is my, uh, my workbench. And there's a better video on exactly how I made this. We'll go ahead and zoom out so we can see more of it. Um, but yeah, this is my this is my main workbench where I have my uh, my big cutting mat. I have this. That's my mount where uh, where we can shoot straight down, make it look kind of like that, more of an angle. Uh, of course, cutting mats. I have my my larger uh, silhouette cutting mats. My silhouette's over there, by the way. Um, let's see, my toaster oven, laptops. And these drawers, nothing special, just uh, sublimation stuff, uh, extra power cables, uh, stuff for when I run my network, uh, shipping supplies, uh, miscellaneous crafting stuff like tape, ribbons, my heat gun, uh, stuff for my daughter, <laughs> and just random stuff. My, my back wheel. Uh, various liquids and like compressed air and stuff. That's my daughter's Barbies and coloring books. She likes coming here and play with me. We'll get to this other side. Now the cool thing about this thing, the whole thing's on caster so I can just move it with one hand. My uh, my cutting board, which is the, the guillotine cutter. Makes life a little easier. 
that's just miscellaneous art supplies, more art supplies. And down here is where I keep like all my um, my tumblers and all that. And I also have an extra tumbler press. And that's just stuff I've been working on. But down here you can see a closer view of my various presses. So let's go get up. Go ahead and move this guy back. And we'll show you my computer setup. That's my computer setup. Dual monitors, webcam, uh, how we have the light, Logitech keyboard, uh, decent mic, an Audio-Technica AT2020. My 3D printing setup with filament dryer, just putting your motherboard in that. Uh, my NAS, all that good stuff down there, need to clean that up. But yeah, this is my setup. Um, overall, I'm really happy with it. It's worth mentioning that we also purchased a much larger storage shed that will double as a woodworking and future maker space. It came from ProBuilt of Memphis and it's a 12 by 24 with a roll-up door and two windows. When it's opened up, the airflow is great and it's nice to be able to work on a woodworking project for just a few hours at a time. It sure beats working on the open carport or on the back patio or under a tree or something like that. Well, anyway, that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me a comment or drop a like. If you're curious about what else I do in the future, feel free to subscribe. Love you guys. Peace.